Hello, everybody. Andrew Majewski here. So let's let's talk about what everybody's been looking at all over social media. So basically, what's happening, and I'm sure you have seen this now. Um, I'm talking about more specifically in Ontario, but we have been strongly suggested. So let me kind of highlight this, or I should say, strongly recommended to suspend our services. So I am a mobile. Um, dental hygienist business owner plus I do have my business in my own home and I personally do feel comfortable treating patients um, mainly just because I don't see you know 40 people a day I'm you know so that's just kind of the main reason but I have actually decided to shut down my services also for about two weeks because that has been as I you know highlighted strongly recommended um, this was a hard decision only because, as I said before, personally, I do feel comfortable treating patients um, with the proper um, precautions, obviously. There was another notice saying that we should not be using, or I should say again, um, it is strongly recommended that we don't use the ultrasonic um, scaler or we don't polish. So I was also taking those steps but um i have decided to shut down for the next two weeks mainly just because how i see it now is if everybody else is shutting down i feel we kind of all should too right because then it kind of looks like we're not taking it seriously it looks like we don't care um but i do understand that we all have bills to pay i completely understand that um especially somebody like me who's self-employed um i don't qualify for un um the um ei so the unemployment insurance i don't qualify for that um and for those of you who do know i'm a tutor i'm a tutor online so that's another reason why I do not qualify for it because they see it as I could always be working, right? So I am I am actively tutoring, but which is nice. But this is more for those hygienists out there who are maybe getting mixed messages. You might be wondering what I'm doing. So I have shut down for two weeks. I am letting my patients know that I will let them know when I hear more, but I will not be booking anybody until April. But I do I do hope in April, things will have calmed down a little bit and I can see patients and just obviously make sure to ask them first if they're sick, um, if they traveled, I will still be careful with that, I think. So I do hope this helps. I will leave the link for you guys for this article on the bottom if you would like to see it more. I'm sure you've, you've um, seen it now. Um, if you guys aren't part of my group on Facebook, actually here, let me show you guys that group. Um, dental L tutoring. I have been posting information on there as well. So if you guys aren't part of that yet, it is open to everybody. Please have a look because I have been posting the links to the articles there um, as they come available. Um, this this article here is the one that had suggested that we we pre rinse with a mouthwash, um, no polishing and no ultrasonic. And another thing that I should mention too, and here's the full article here, is you know what, if I can't polish, if I can't use the ultrasonic, I kind of feel like I'm not doing a good enough job anyway. So that's another reason why I've decided to shut down. So I hope this helps you guys. Please um, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear them and I will talk to you guys very, very soon.